Hello my soccer universe! The Austrian club season kicks off today. My team last has to play far away in Vorarlberg. Uh, in, you know, it's a third tier team, but you know, will be a difficult one. And you know, all of the big teams have of course away games in the first round of the cup. But that's not what we're talking about. I decided to add Two more jerseys to my Austrian Bundesliga collection. One of them is a new team and one of them is a team that, yeah, it's the first Austrian team outside of LASK where I have two jerseys. I feel a little bit dirty about that. But I want to start with this one. Yeah, I've pre-opened all of these because um, I had to uh, check them, but I uh, will look at them into a little bit more detail. The first one here is an Austrian Bundesliga classic. In the sense it has sponsors galore but overall a pleasing design uh, it also breaks a little bit of a rule because I always said I want to get jerseys of teams from big cities however this team has been rather consistent and I checked the, uh, the city that they're from is among the top 20 in Austria which doesn't mean much we're talking about 30,000 people or whatever it's from Carinthia Kärnten it's Wolfsberger AT, VAT, or just I call it in my videos Wolfsberg. It's a little bit scrumpled up. It's the 1920 home shirt. And I gotta say, I mean, uh, squint a little bit and just look at the overall design from Jaco with the pinstriping going all the way here in the three colors that the club now uses. Although you can always see the green and the red are from the main sponsor but i really like we have black we have green we have red all going diagonally i think it's pretty pleasing uh most sponsor logos here are sublimated except for the crest which is very nice and the yakko logo which is very nicely put on there's actually a shine to those as well which i really really enjoy i would prefer the club crest i mean the team is black and white you know not having this one but having the wolf a little bit more central but hey uh small d de de details just to show off a little bit how many sponsors we have here two up here we have of course the supplier which i count for now the bundesliga also has so we have already four sponsors then we have uh orf which is the um tv uh, main tv station uh so we are already at five we have sport for canton which is Carinthia. Six main sponsors, seven, very nicely done. We have here Opel on the side, which is an eighth sponsor. We have, I think this is probably the same uh, uh, car, but let's say uh, nine here, Auto Eisner on the side. And we're not done yet. We have here on the back, two more, Sorga and Salanetis. So yeah, rather, rather special. So here it is, I even forgot a sleeve sponsor, so add one to that. Um, it's from the 1920 season where I think they finished in third place but only had the fourth best record. Yeah, very, very crazy format that the Austrian Bundesliga had. Now this shirt I actually found again on Wilhaben. I made an offer, I think the seller wanted to have, I think 20. I made an offer for third. 13 14 something like that and we agreed then on a selling price of 17 which meant i got free shipping more or less so uh for that price i think i'm very pleased with that similar story for the second shirt although on a slightly higher scale the seller wanted 30 i offered 20 we agreed on 25 okay so be it i actually was about to say i'm only gonna be on uh 20 here but then i said ah Oh, the jersey is nice, although I really have problems with that team, but the jersey is really, really, really nice. Uh, has a similar design feature, though much less sponsors. Can't believe I'm having a shirt from this team, but honestly, it is a really, it's a really nice shirt. And this is why I in the uh, end ended up getting, getting it. It's Red Bull Salzburg, the away jersey from the 21-22 uh, season, where of course they became champions again. As I said, a lot less sponsors, but I really like the design. We have only the main sponsor, Red Bull. We have 
two Rauch logos, which is basically the same sponsor than on the back. It says Red Bulls, uh, but I have to say this shirt, I mean, the, it's much higher quality. I mean, it's a Nike shirt. Um, the league logo is a nice plastic transfer. Uh, the main logo is really, really well done. I mean, that's high quality stuff, I have to say. The logo is ridiculous, but uh, all the patterning within the logo is really, really, really nice. Uh, gotta give them credit for that. And I see also there is a ton of ventilation going on on the back side, which makes me believe that this could very well be... Uh, I don't want to say it's a player version, but you know, uh, that this is a jersey that could also be worn on the pitch, because I think normally you wouldn't have that. Don't get really the back fold over collar but you know you know before i hang it up it also has a little saying here on the inside you see it's a double xl um this is salzburg which is very much dialect uh we, in german you would say das ist salzburg 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 and this of course this is salzburg this is what it means but you know and another interesting feature is this holographic uh, thing here where you have the Salzburg crest and then it changes in uh, into Fußball from Morgen, which means football of tomorrow, which is very much their club motto, one would say. So here you go, two more Austrian club jerseys. I have now a Red Bull Salzburg. I mean, I have an Austria Salzburg, but technically they're the same team, although the company doesn't want to have it. But I have to say, this is a jersey that I actually like. I think it's the color scheme works well. I have to say, many of the Red Bull away jerseys were usually a whole lot better than the Red Bull uh, home jerseys. And so, as I said, okay, it's a nice jersey for a decent price, and I can use it in my videos for that reason. I got it, although. I once said I don't want to have any Red Bull logos in my collection. Well, I have already a Leipzig shirt. In any case, uh, let me know what you think about these two jer uh, jer jerseys. I actually think the price point is about the right for both of these shirts that I'm uh, confident with. And it give, allows me a little bit more flexibility when I talk about the Austrian league. I also came to the, to the conclusion, well, I'm living in Austria. I might as well collect Austrian shirts as well. So there you go. Any case, please let me, let me know what you think about these two shirts. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.